First, we're going to learn four tones of pinyin, and I will introduce you the initials and finals. In the end, we'll have some basic conversation. Here is an example. This is character, 你, 你, means you, and this is 好, 好 means good. Putting 你 and 好 together, we have the word hello. On top of 你 好 is the pinyin. In this box is the pinyin. There are three parts in one pinyin. The left part, this, no, and he, it's called 声母, initial. And the red set, e and ao, it's called 韵母, final. The top set, this mark, it's called 声调, tone. Altogether, there are four plus one tones and twenty one initials and thirty six finals. So, do you know there are how many Chinese characters in total? Actually, it's, yeah, no, 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 no. Actually, it's over 40,000. But if you want to read newspapers, you don't need to recognize those 40,000 characters. Just around 3,000 is enough. Now, let's learn more about there are the three, four tones of Chinese tone, the second, the third tone, and the fourth tone. The first one, ma, ma, it's high and flight. The second one, ma, ma. And the third one has a ma ma. The third one, the fourth one is a sharp decline. Ma ma. And you need to pay special attention to the third tone because. With ma down and up, but if we speak the third tone in a word or in a phrase, we don't speak like ma. Instead, we just speak ma. The down part. The sick the putting a tone onto a uh, we have four types a a a and a uh. the next one is wo putting the four tones on wo we have four types wo 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 and wo. The third one is e. <laughs> Sorry, I forget. It's e, 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 and e. The fourth one is E and the first tone is high and flat. E E E and E. 
The fifth one is u u u u and u. The last one is u u u u and u. Now let's have some practice. I will speak one of these finals, and you can tell me which tone did I choose. Let's do it line by line. The first line. Which tone did? I yeah, first. And the second line, 我 Yeah, the third one. And also, 我 means I or me in Chinese. The the third line, 鹅 Yeah, the second and the fourth line, 一 Yeah, you are right. The fifth line, 雨 雨 Yeah, right. Last one. Ü. Ü. Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's move. Here, initial initials. Pull. The third one, more. The fourth one, four. Four. Next. Two. The the next no no and lo lo ke 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 he. And maybe you will notice that the initials I said just before always has an "e" sound in the end. And this is "ji ji qi qi xi xi." For these three initials. There is always an e sound in the end. Now let's look at some finals. We have learned before. This is e and u and u. This one it puts this e and a u together. So when we speak fast, it become er er. This is u. When we put e and u together, we have ya, ya, and this is u and u, wa, wa. This u and put u and u together, we have u. Also, it's u, u. But stronger. This is u. 
Putting e and a together, we have e, e, and this is u and a. We have u, u. Putting a and e together, we have i, i, and this u plus i, we have. Why? Why? This is a and e. We have a, a, u and a. We have way, way. But actually, when we, uh, when we write this way, we don't write like uh u and a and e. Instead, we just write this. U and E and leave this. U. A and W together we have. O. O. This E and O together we have. Yo. Yo. Now let's put all these things together. M and U plus the first tone we have. Ma, ma. Do you know what ma means in Chinese? You can have a guess. Actually, yeah, it means, yeah, it's mother. And this one is, this one is bu and a、啊、and the fourth tone, so it's ba, ba. Since ma is mother. Can you have a guess? Can you have a guess? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Father. Very good. And this is 姐姐 The next one is 哥哥 This is fei, fei, and this is 你你 This is 好好 As we mentioned before, ni hao, yeah. 谢，谢 ，thanks。这是不。Yeah, you're right. 谢 is thank you. And this is 客气，客气。Now let's learn some rules. When we put two characters with the third tone together, for example, 你 and 好 it is very hard to speak like 你好 So we just change the first third tone 你 into 你 The first tone changes to the second tone. 你好 change to 你好 And the second one, 可以 is changed to 可以辅导 is changed to 辅导 so we can speak faster and more comfortably. Let's have some practice. I will read these words, and you can pay attention to the tones that they change. 你好可以
，辅导，小姐，口语，语法，法语，讨好，了解，友好，雨伞，手表。As I mentioned before, if the third tone is put into a word, that tone just only speak half part of it. For example, 你好 you can, uh, you can feel that I only speak the down part of 好 and also that 你 is changed to the second tone 你 Now let's learn some conversation. 你好 ，Hello. If someone say hello to you, the most easy way is to return hello. And 你好 is a very polite way to say hello. Usually, we say hello to strangers, and if we meet someone in the first time, we tend to say hello to he, him or her. But we don't say this 你好 to our friends. Or our family because it is too polite for them. And this is 您好，您好，您好 is a polite way than 你好 If you are a shop assistant, probably you will say 您好 to your customer. Because you want to show your respect to his, him, or her, and also you can say 您好 to someone that you want to pay special respect for them. And this is 你们好你们 is the plural form of you. If you want to greet a group of people, you can say 你们好 And this is, 对不起。对不起 means I'm sorry. This is, 没关系。没关系。没关系 means it's okay. 对不起。没关系。I'm sorry. It's okay. Here is a conversation. Since you cannot speak, I will speak for you. 你好，你好，对不起。What should you reply for 对不起 Yeah, 没关系 Let's have a quick review. 你你 means you in the singular form. 好 Ha means good. 你好 means hello. 您您您 is a polite way to say 你您好 is a polite way to say 你好你们你们 is the plural form of 你对不起，对不起 ，I'm sorry， 没关系，没关系 ，It's okay。Do you have any questions about this lesson?
don't understand and want me. Okay, so we will move on.